Welcome back to Citizens Forum. I'm Will Smith, and my guests today are with AstroSoul. I've got Dr. Susan Scott and Phil Ponche, and they are having a seminar on the weekend of the 21st of May about a number of interesting topics, starting off with the fifth dimension. So without any more delay, I'd like to introduce you to my guests. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Phil. Will. So I'd like to know, my first question is, I've gotten really interested in all these things, the, the fifth dimension and clairvoyance and past lives because of my involvement on the show, and then you two just show up. So that's a little bit synchronistic. So how, how did you get started in all of this? What made you get interested in this? Well, originally, AstroSoul is one of the services of the Inner Peace Movement of Canada, and I heard about that, and I was living in Vancouver a long time ago, over 40 years ago. My eldest son had died of cancer at the age of three, and I wanted to know why, and it was a, it, it was a very traumatic experience, of course, and, uh, but it made me start thinking that there's got to be more to life. There's, there's something else, and what is there? And I felt like there were answers somewhere, but I, I didn't know where they were, but I knew I was searching for them. And I found them gradually. You know, and I, I learned that the fact there is no death. We don't die. We're, we're a soul. We're a life force. We have a physical body, and then we move on. And that was a great source of comfort to understand that. For me, I, I'm just, uh, this is so new to me, and I, I am amazed that you knew about this so long ago because I, I went through uh, my life not really, you know, going to church and sort of thinking that that was uh, the real story. And so it's, it's refreshing for me now to hear this, but I, I just wonder how this could be around for such a long period of time and not knowing it. So how, how long has the community been here in Victoria that talks about this. Has it been going on that long? Yeah, since the 1960s. But you see, nobody joins it. You can't belong to it. It's something you could just come to. And people seem to hear about it in the right time. And I know if I heard about this before, when I did hear about it, I probably wouldn't have been very interested. And But I heard it about at I, it really came home to me just at the right moment for me. So you me. needed that push. Yeah, sort of to, something. To... I think sometimes we need a little push or like you know, to get us going, you know, what is there, and yeah. start searching. How about you, Philip? How long have you been involved in this? Uh, well, I heard my uh, presentation here in Victoria uh, in 1974. And, uh, yeah, I was just, you know, young, out of high school kind of thing, and I, I was very interested in psychic things. I had uh, some psychic experiences mm -hmm. that I didn't understand, and uh, so it what I found out was that what I was really, the, the something more in life that I was really searching for was that sense of coming home to myself, a sense of belonging, of being at peace with myself. And I found that through understanding what the psychic dimension of myself was all about, that it was a part of who I am. And it's, it's innate and natural. So what is the process? How do you start with this? Uh this, on this journey, where do you decide, you make a decision that this is an interesting topic. No, I that think it comes more for you, just a desire to do it. And it really comes from learning to trust your hunches. Uh, you know, you get a hunch about something and you follow it and it works, or you talk yourself out of it and you wish you hadn't. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's like learning to listen to ourselves and trust those inspirations that come to us. And see, everything in life means something. It, and nothing happens by coincidence. And everything, you know, whatever happens physically, there is a, you could say, a spiritual, or the, there's a reason behind it. Mm. And so that's something that Astrosoul taught me, is to look, behind, read between the lines and know why something happens and what the lesson is to be learned. Because I believe we're here on this planet in order to learn. Everything is just a big learning experience. It's like going to school every day. That does seem to be where we're getting to, doesn't it? I yeah. mean, it's, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a better explanation for what's happening. And you're <laughs> always going, there's always going to be wars on the planet. And we always, people think, well, we're going to clean up the war and we'll all be at peace. I don't think we will because one of the lessons, the big lessons here on planet Earth is those souls need to come and learn certain lessons from it. And so it's always going to happen. It's just things, a lot of things never change. 
but that's life on planet Earth. And but the thing is, for each person, like you know, I can only speak for myself, but for me, is to learn why am I here? What are the lessons I came to learn so I can make the most of my time? Otherwise, I can end up feeling like I'm wasting my time, or where's my life going? But if I know why I'm here and what it is I've come to learn, then I can make the most of each moment, each day. So in this uh, seminar, this lectures, what are you going to, how could you explain, uh, I'll put this up on the screen so people can know where it is. There are two of them, one Tuesday, May 21st, and Monday, May 27th. I think I said uh, weekend, and it's not, so make sure you update that. But uh, what, what is the, what are you going to, to talk about? Uh, is it just a, is it a lecture or how does it it's work? It's a talk and there's going to be more. Uh, Philip and I were actually working with four other colleagues, Canadians and an Australian, uh, who are going to be lecturing basically to help people answer the questions of who am I, where have I come from, and where am I going? Mm -hmm. And we talk about the fact that we are a soul, we are a life force, we each have a purpose. We talk about the different levels of consciousness on planet Earth, ranging from the very confused and to the really high, clear, you know, concerned feeling. And we talk about the metaphysical gifts, how we perceive psychically. And just to help people see that there is a purpose behind life, behind everything that we do. And we each have a purpose. And so to help people start realizing that they have a purpose for being here so that they can start uh, listening to themselves more so they can get more on track. The, the more on track we are with our life, the happier we are. Mm -hmm. And if we have more up days than down days, we're on the right track. If we have more down days than up days, it's going to help a lot to start searching more for why we're here and what we have come here to learn. So this is about meditation and listening. We do do meditation, and, but we do a lot of other things too. We take a lot of things into consideration. Mindfulness, learning to focus on the moment, a lot of different aspects. <clears throat> but all is basic to help a person recognize the potential they have within themselves and to help them realize why they're here and to live their purpose for being here. And Philip, you're speaking also? Oh, yes. So what is your what is your topic that you're going to be covering? Well, I'll be I'll be joining the the team of lecturers that will be speaking, and um, for me, what it is is it it's understanding how I communicate with myself through my psychic perceptions, um, because that that brings a sense of confidence in life. It's like knowing that I know, mm -hmm. and not doubting that. And you know, we know that in life, if we trust ourselves, things go better. Um, and we're bombarded constantly, you know, by negative news. Yes. And so that's you know, so a way of life on planet Earth. We seem to have that. But if I, and that can stimulate a sense of fear, if I don't understand that that's you know that's not that's not me. That's something that's in my environment. But if I can just trust myself and where I'm going in life, then everything settles in place, and I don't have I don't have to follow that bandwagon of jumping every time something you know the shoe drops. I can just trust myself. Would you say that this would be interesting for all age groups? I mean, even if they're a, a teenager, you could be interested in this, right, and get I, something out of it. Yeah, I, I was interested in this as a teenager. Uh, so yeah, any any age group. You know. I think I wish I had gotten interested in this when I was a teenager. Well, we have people that come from all backgrounds, all walks of life, all ages. It, you know, there's, it's the main, the one main thing they have in common is they want to know more about themselves, what their life is about, and find more of a sense of purpose for their life, and basically to be themselves. You know, we're so busy covering up, trying to look good and right. trying to impress the world around us. We forget just to, the best thing we could do is be ourselves and listen to ourselves and trust ourselves, believe in ourselves. Would you like to talk about your website a little bit? Because you said you were, that it's going through a major revamping. It Are is. You? Our website is www.innerpeacemovement.ca. I'll put it up. 
Yeah, it's not very conducive for mobile phones and things, but it's because it is being re. re but you're you're, at this put, point. you're making an effort to put more information on it. Yes. So if people, when yes. people are interested in this, then they can go to the website. But Absolutely. it's it's chain. It's in the midst of it is. things. So keep checking back. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I I uh, got. I'm glad you brought up the thing about the the topic of all the things that are happening. I mean, that's frankly why I got interested in this. I just, the world has to make sense to me. I, I have to see the world and I, and just coming here and everybody destroying the place, it doesn't make sense to me, but pushing us towards finding out who we are. It's a, it, it, I think that's a, a really good way to look at it, that we can't take this personally, that uh, it's a, it's something that, as you say, it's, it's a tough school and we just have to get used to it and not take it personally. That's right. And, you know, there's a lot of good things that happen, too. You know, I know we get so bombarded with the not-so-good news. Forget that there's a lot of good things happening in the world, a lot of good people doing good things everywhere, people who are listening to themselves and trusting themselves and are going out and being of service. There are a lot of people like that everywhere. In every country, yes. there are people like that. So we're seeing a shift. You're seeing that too, right? Would you would you characterize uh, even though all these bad things are happening? Are you seeing a positive shift from I your see, point of view? I see a lot of concern. I have four grandchildren in in uh, Montreal, who are well, they're, they're late teens, early twenties. Right. And they're very concerned about just life in general. But they're concerned. They want to make the most and live their life to the full. And so they don't get involved in all this doom and gloom. They're yeah, just so they're, going they're to, tuned into this. Then, uh, yeah, they saying. are. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of just out to enjoy their life and make the most of their life. Put they put themselves 100% into whatever they do, what they're interested in. And that to me is what life is about, is if we know what we love to do and do it to the best of our ability, do what we love to do, then life falls into place. <laughs> I think that's what Joseph Campbell was saying when he said, follow your bliss. You know, yes, just... exactly, yes. So well, we, do you have anything that, else that you would like to talk about, uh, uh, Philip? Well, about? just to, yes, to mention that there are different ways that we perceive psychically, uh, metaphysically, and uh, one of them is through sensing, through sensing what other people are feeling. That's one way. Another way is through an inner vision, uh, clairvoyance, to see uh, plans that we make in our mind's eye mm -hmm. and then create that. And another way is through the still small voice of hearing the answer that we're looking for. It comes to us all of a sudden, uh, very clearly. And another way is through an inner knowing, knowing something, precognition, knowing before it happens. So we explore all of those four perceptions and find out where we fit in those so that we can develop them more and, and trust. It based, it's all about trusting. And, that, and these things uh, sort of come into your consciousness over a period of time, right? I mean... It, it's becoming more aware of them. We help people become aware of the potential they have in that area. And then and through becoming aware, you naturally develop them more. Right, so it's not about doing something to, to get somewhere. It's more about allowing, being still and quiet and, and allowing that to happen. Is that right? I think it or? comes naturally. It like, comes for naturally. example, you know when you follow your feelings, things work, right? If you don't follow your feelings, things get rough. It's as simple as that. And then other people have to have a see it before they can move into action. And other people need to trust their first thought, or first impression. Right, I have that. Yeah, okay. And you see, we all, it's, just as, as matter, it's just as simple as doing that. Well, one of the things that we talk about sometimes, uh, Jack likes to talk about, you know, how noisy it is in our world and how we need that yeah. inner peace and, and to learn how to access that, yes. that quiet. So. So that's, what, that's also what we're saying, right, is, is that we have to learn to not just block everything out, but rather to experience Go within it. Yeah. and experience that peacefulness and quietness within. Yes, I read a book recently about Norwegian. I forget, about Norwegian. I forget the name of it. But it was fascinating about how noisy the world is, that his, the whole thing was that really the, the quietness is to be found within ourselves, listening within ourselves. We all need to learn how to listen within ourselves and there are many different ways that we can access this this is a very low impact way uh, so I'll put up the there are two two different 
lecture series that are going on on May 21st and May 27th, and I'll put them up here on the screen. But thank you very much for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.